Hi, I'm Mark Dice, and welcome. All right. So, yes, we just did the Grand Stream Saga. Great game. Should check it out if you like PlayStation One games. Well, anyway, let's uh, go ahead and start up the next one, which Sir Nicodem chose. And we will go ahead and play it. And then we shall see how awful it is. And that is not where it is. Hasbro Interactive. Uh-oh. This is giving me like an Abe's Odyssey. Although, real sports? Really? This shouldn't be a sports game. I should have deleted all the sports games. Okay, how many people made this game? Mondo Media. Oh my god, Mondo Media used to have a great opening. Wait a minute, is that is that a centipede? Is this indeed centipede? This story begins every hundred years. It always begins the same way. With a legend awakening. Yeah, this is totally centipede. I didn't even look, I just opened it. I forgot yesterday it was centipede. Ah! Do you really need this much backstory for Centipede? I guess they really try to like amp up how intense Centipede is. Centipede is like I throw in a quarter, I get to like maybe level two, and then I'm bored. And then I'm like, yeah, I'm done with this game. I just I don't feel the action in Centipede. I just I just don't. Let's let's do an adventure. Weedum. No, whatever. When the word came down that the legend had come to life, we built the shooter. But we needed a hero to fly. <laughs> This year, the magic stick didn't point to the usual heroes. It pointed to Wally. Well, your stick is stupid. Wally wasn't one of the usual heroes. In fact, he wasn't a hero at all. He was just a simple bean counter. But when you're asked to save the world, you don't ask why. You just make it happen. I already kind of hate this game. Jesus, what are you loading? There's the thing that I don't miss. Mm -hmm. 
Well, this is just like Centipede. I'm already kind of bored. Granted, it, it feels like Centipede, which is, which is good, I guess. I mean, good for it. But... I mean, I don't know necessarily if that's a good thing. Strafe. Yeah. So, centipede. I mean, it, at least it's a decent take on it. I mean, I guess if you really like it, but I can't, I can't do this. This is, this is just bad. I mean, it's centipede. I mean, it's not, it's not anything interesting. That's, that's the problem. Like centipede is still centipede. No matter how much you want it to be something else, it's still centipede. I, I really can't say it's it's good or bad. I didn't really like Centipede. It's it doesn't really deserve anything. And that no acorn. It's not terrible. It's not antiquated. It it still plays nicely. The loading times are a little awful. But other than that, I mean, it's just Centipede. I mean, you have to really like it to be able to play it. 
So, that puts us down to 970. So let's see what we're going to play next. Hopefully it's saying a little bit better. Two thirty-five. Let's see what two thirty-five is. Unfortunately, I don't get to play these blind um, because I have to see into the folders. Obviously, like I can try, but I I move stuff around, so there's no easy way to get around me seeing it. Unlike the Game Boy, where I can certainly do that. I would just get them all prepped to play as is, but eh, that's actually more involved than not doing that. Oh, I does. Oh, by the way, it's weird that uh, Tomb Raider and Hitman are both old IDOS games, and they're both like during E3 are like these are our big exclusive titles, and it's like weird. Just somewhere along, I guess probably like Tomb Raider, blah 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 blah, and subpar Hitman's. Probably sunk them more than anything else. It's the future, and the world is controlled by the trans global corporations of the late 20th century. These cool. Days, seems everything has its price, even the law. And that's different from today. How? This is the rule of the Psychops, covert operation teams who operate outside of the system, against the system, because sometimes. Actions be louder than words. Tough, intimidating phrases put together by enhanced super cyber cops. Has targeted the Nakamichi Corporation. These boys just stepped over the line. Their crime: illegal bioweapon program, genetic weaponry based on human DNA. We got enough on Nakamichi to justify a raid, and that's where I come in. Psychops, Agent Manson, Hawk Manson. Hawk Manson. I'm packing the usual body enhancements and enough firepower to take out a city. Anything that give me the edge. Man, those jerks using bioweapons. I better use my bioweapon to destroy them. It's an invisible war we're fighting. And if you get caught, no one will ever know. But I ain't got no problem with that. The Psycops Directive is my kind of ride. Ah. Somewhere around there, there's Fighting Force 1. Um. Woo! So excited. Loading. I actually had to press start. Let's let's look at the controls. Walk, strafe, look special, inventory, kick. Okay, I yeah, this text color doesn't really work. Ah, jump buttons in a terrible place. Can we have jump like not? There we go. I don't like that either. Uh, I do not like that. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to deal with shit controls. Okay, I guess that I can deal with. But yeah, I'll just accept that. I would prefer X jump, triangle inventory, square punch, circle kick. That easy. 
normal mode. Ow. Difficulties. This is gonna be like one of those awful 3D beat em ups. Time to buckle up and take the ride. Going in. Oh god. Philadelphia. Prototype metal sample. Getting some Terminator music in here. Oh, this is. Interesting to say the least. Oh. Shank you. Shank you, fool. Okay, why does... Oh, yeah, because Kick's over there. So this is basically like Tekken Force, the game. What are you doing? What? Are you drunk? Hey, no throwing stuff. Oh my god. Let's just stick with the knife. No, let's let's low kick this box. Thank you. Now I have two knife. What? No. Why would I ever want to do that? You don't really need like two buttons to climb up things. Just gonna like put that out there. Okay, just a random summon room. Well, I should have guessed that that would have happened. Good thing knife is super effective. You have, like, no back. What? Okay, that's a blow-up thing, more than likely. Oh, I now have a bat. Yes! Oh yeah, I like this. What the? Where the hell did you come from? The control, the camera control on this is terrible. They are doing like really enclosed environments and trying to do like a 3D brawler with it, which never works out well.
I had like a wild guess that that would give me health. I've never played this game before. I've seen it. Trust me, I've seen the box art for it. That's just about it. Okay, I need a red key card. Okay, seriously, steam hissing sound? Not necessary. Yeah, take that copier that apparently had a gun in it. A gun that I can't pick up. Fuck your shit. Sleep mode? More like stab mode. Okay, for serious. Can I just like blast the door down or something? I said thank you. I don't care, I'm a super futuristic fighting force. Alarms don't bother me. It's a secret war. We can do this. Oh, hey, an axe? I'm happy about that. Do I have to run past this? Okay, camera, if you cooperated, this might be a little bit more of a pleasant experience, but you really are dreadful. Okay. Not what I wanted you to do, but sure, we'll, we'll go with it. Okay, Lara Croft. It's like I'm controlling a drunk baboon. Yeah, thank you. Alright, got another key card. Now put, put, put the guns away. Okay, well fine, you can just play with your gun. Okay, you have to press square. your kicks. Kick, kick the box. Or don't. Do whatever you want. I'm already not really seeing how this is at all helpful. Oh 
Okay. Good thing you decided to enlist people made out of paper. No, I don't need pew pew guns. Like most early 3D games, guns are the worthless option when punching is a better one. Wasn't this like a Dreamcast game or something? Or was the first Fighting Force on Dreamcast? Something like that? I don't remember. Dude, I have a motherfucking axe. Oh, apparently now I don't. It's back to stabbing time. I'll beat the first level of this. Uh, there's nothing really going on in this. Nothing at all. Output 3k? Puh! Not very futuristic when 4k is right around. Seventy-five percent? I expect a hundred and twenty percent. Overclocked. Get the hell out of here. Oh, speaking of which, I love when people... Uh, recently there was an article about, like, a, obviously like a gag article on Cracked. Which, I only read Cracked because every once in a while they have a gem. But it's, it's becoming to the point where there's zero gems to be gained from it. Um... So it's kind of like a time waster. But uh, they had all these like futuristic technologies that don't matter anymore because we have better ones kind of thing. And all of them are so wrong. Like it was, it was bad. Like one of Data's performance. What the hell? In... Uh, Star Trek saying like, oh, we have a computer that can process more. But is it a tiny chip inside someone's head? Like, seriously? And Professor X's wheelchair? People always bring that up. Like, the thing that people don't realize is that, like, Professor X can't because of his powers. That's why he was trying to get rid of them. Because he wasn't paralyzed because of, like, a spinal injury. Well, depending on what canon you read, but most of it is from he was paralyzed when he got his gift. So, that means having, like, something that would, like, the the legs that control you, like, you can use synapses to control them. Um, like, it reads your uh like brain waves to try to get a signal to uh, tell your legs to move, he would not have that capability, so it would be pointless to give him such technology. Yeah, I don't even care about you, dude. Bye. I mean, my lucky probably has a key card. Ha -da! I feel like Roberto stabbing everybody. Okay, 
I don't know what those are. I think they're grenades. God, how long is this level? Where the hell you'd come from? Huh? Just appearing out of nowhere. Oh, sledgehammer, you say? I will thoroughly enjoy the sledgehammer. I would say the weapons are interesting, but considering that most of them just disintegrate... Yeah, you had that coming. I'll just wreck all your shit. Yeah, take that, Half-Life. Oh, my sle sledgy. I'll miss you. Did someone really just blow themselves up down there? Apparently I have $9,000. Level a city, can't get around a little tiny beam. Why even put up these fences? What the hell? Okay, that sounds really annoying. Supposed to be telling me like where. Was I already here? Yeah, I was. Oh my god! Stop being annoying! How can I make you not make sound? Because that would be great. It started in this room. Oh my god, you are so annoying! Please stop. Okay. So apparently I blew up the blast furnace, which was a bad idea. But how was I supposed to know that was a blast furnace? Seriously. I'm so juiced on bioweapons, I don't even know what's going on. Where's the generator? Okay, I'm holding straight. Please go straight. I know this <coughs> music is trying to create like some atmosphere of tension or something.
thought there was like a roll button or something. Alright, so where's a generator thing? That's obviously some sort of generator thing. Alright, that looks like a generator. So, where's your overload? Or that's a tank. I really can't tell. Everything's so ugly. Uh, I kind of blew everything up. So... <sighs> Go away, little bug. So, yeah... A generator room? Are there control panels where I can make stuff blow up? I don't even know. I think I'm gonna give this game a no. It's not bad, it's just boring. Number two, boring. I can see why we had so many copies of Fighting Force 2 at GameStop, because it was terrible. Well, at least at our store. We had lots of them. And, yeah, I can see why. That game would not be very fun for very long. I just... Why have objectives that you can blow up or intentionally fail? That's weird. I don't like that. It's not that I'm like, oh, it needs to be simplified. It's like you have no idea what's going on like for a first time playing that game uh, you, you have no idea you're just beating people up and what the hell now hold on I love when that happens. When uh, EPSXE doesn't close out properly. I love that. It's my favorite. Oh, oh god, my head. Oh. I have like a pimple on my scalp. Awful. No, I wrote that completely backwards. There we go, 462. Let's see what this is. And as per usual, with all, all, especially PlayStation 1 games, there's going to be one person who's like, oh, why did you just give up? The next console in the next room would have done it for you. How did you not know that that console you shouldn't have blown up? Oh, this one looks like so much fun. Oh, yeah. Mm. Got some Monster Chaos last night. No more green monster. Well... Probably later tonight there'll be more green monster, but oh yeah, so good. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I can just see Power Rangers like right there. Although it was awful, but still. Wild Thornberries. I've never seen this show. The only thing I know is the annoying smashing meme that's not funny at all. And even watching, like, a clip of it. Okay, Jesus. Volume down a few notches. But uh, I don't find it funny at all. It's just, like, 
a typical British person. Hello, my name is Eliza Thornberry, part of your average family. I have a dad, a mom, and a sister. And there are Donnie and Darwin, too. My dad hosts his nature show, and my mom films it. Okay, so we're not that average. On one of our trips, something... Mr. Tapir. And now I can talk to animals. This season, we're going around the world to film endangered species. We'll meet a lot of other animals, too. Some we expect, and probably some we don't. And we'll be going to a lot of cool places, like... The Rainforest of Colombia. Tasmania, just south of Australia. Belize, that's in Central America. Egypt and Kenya in Africa. Iceland, the land of fire and ice. And Vancouver Island in Canada. The only question is, where to go first? Why don't you help us decide? So we go and meet animals and talk to them and learn facts about them? Careful for those drop bears in Tasmania. And the, uh, the wild snipes. Be careful of them. Where to go? Tasmania. Yeah, we're going to Tasmania. I don't, I could care less about anywhere else. They're extinct. In a stalactite spot. Tasmanian tiger. In a stalactite. Well, some people would argue that Tasmanian tigers are not extinct. Where in Tasmania? South of Launceston. Behold, Tasmania. Behold, boredom. Oh, Tasmania is far from boredom. That really doesn't look like Tasmania. Lush plant life and animals found nowhere else in the world. I wish I was found anywhere else in the world. What kind of animals, Dad? How about the wedge-tailed eagle? One of the largest eagles in the world. They're said to be fascinated by whistles. There's a folk tale. They'll take you flying if you blow one. I say, Eliza, do you still have that traditional Aboriginal whistle I carved out of a reed for you? Right here, Dad. Oh, good show. But the most unusual Tasmanian animal of all is the thylacine, or Tasmanian... Thylacine. There are tigers here? Well, they've been extinct tigers. since... And what? They're not at all fierce. They're more like 1923. A pooch with a pouch. Precisely. Afraid they've been extinct for 50 years, though. There have been numerous sightings since then, but none authenticated. I bet we can find a Tasmanian tiger. A lot of other people have claimed to see them. Well, can't we just take their word for it? Oh, don't be scared, Darwin. Like Dad said, they aren't like real tigers. They're more like big dogs. You might have convinced me if you hadn't mm. said big. Just follow me. Everything will be all right. They are similar to dogs. But behaviorally, er, uh, behavior-wise, they're a little Darwin. different. Hmm. Must have gone back to camp. They're somewhere between a dog and a Tasmanian devil. And they're actually more shy. A lot of people recorded them to be more possum-like, without the nasty side. Boy! Where am I? Oh dear, I'm in a cave! Oh, I hope those tigers don't live down here! How am I going to get out of this? Since I fell in, I suppose I'll have to climb out. But what are those things up there? Uh, okay. This control is awful. Will I be safe here or will it knock me down? Oh my god. Oh my god. This control is terrible. No, how about we... Can we go the other way? There we go.
Okay. Oh my god, this is this is already really annoying. I thought we were supposed to learn about animals, not be hit by bats incessantly. Okay, yeah, fuck this. Okay, do like you have to mash every button until you figure out which one actually does something. Square mostly does that. Oh, come on. God. The controls in this are goddamn terrible. Whoever made up these controls is an idiot. Oh. No, why are you going that way? I'm not even telling you. Okay, fuck this game. This game officially sucks. I wanted to see some animals, but all you've really left me with is a really bad climbing game. No. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. You've tricked me, and I don't appreciate that. Terrible. I would accept it if it was a platformer, but that's like a Final Fantasy minigame that's made really poorly and has really awful controls that are nonsensical. Like, why is triangle left, circle to go right, square to climb, and circle to swap hands, or triangle to swap hands, or X to swap hands? That doesn't even make sense. And the, the instructions for it were even worse. Was that Animal Adventures? Was that? Yeah, Animal Adventures. You get a dragon song. Because you were terrible. And I do not approve. Also, tricking me with saying that there are Tasmanian tigers, when Tasmanian tigers have been extinct for quite a long time. And uh, pretty much at this point, we know, like, like with 99% certainty, unless there's some magical haven of them that never leaves, never makes calls, like, never makes calling sounds at night, doesn't leave droppings, and doesn't eat wallabies anymore. Because they normally... They would, like, prey on wallabies. And the wallaby populations are extremely high right now in Tasmania. And the only ones they find are usually predated on by um, Tasmanian devils and such, even though they normally eat smaller prey. But we would notice an increase in their population if they had such a bountiful food supply. Also, people who've gone way out into the bush to look for them, no droppings, that night, no call sounds, nothing that would indicate that there's a population or a population that's on the rise. Even if they were frightened of people, we're talking about like motion cameras, things like that, that have been set out in some of the deepest, most uninhabitable, uninhabited regions of Tasmania, and none. No such luck. 
like there is nothing like the University of Tasmania officially said that they are officially extinct in the wild, and there's no, little to no chance that there could be one surviving. And if it did, it would have to be ancient, because the populations would have had to have grown by now if there was a breedable population. Maybe what people are seeing is a wild dog, or some other, maybe it's just a wallaby and they mistake it. But overall, that game, no good. If it had decent controls, I'd keep playing, but the controls are dreadful. And I would try some of the other regions, but I just don't care. You've, you've tricked me. And I do not appreciate. This one, 689... All right. Well then, this one is going to be, oh yeah, special to say the least. Special is definitely the term to use for it. Ubisoft, aka Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed every day. Yep, a Hooters game. Hooters road trip. It's probably just outrun with Hooters logoing. I wonder where the people who are in this game are now. All of them paying for college. Or just looking for a waitressing job that has good tips. Hooters has good wings, but I'd go there and... Regardless of the skimpy outfits, I don't go there because I find the women attractive. I just go there for wings. Like, my wife and I... My wife loves eating at Hooters for whatever reason. And... I don't know. I think she likes the burgers and fries. It's funny, though, because we went with some friends to go just get a snack at Hooters or whatever, and it was at, like, a huge convention thing. And they made, like, a big deal out of it. They were like, I'm not going to Hooters. That place degrades women. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, yeah, sure. There'll always be bad people, but let's just road trip. Hawk? Kanaya? Oh. Yeah, this needs to go. Sorry, I need to close my Steam. I didn't, I don't know why my Steam reopened. I don't have any dropped frames, so... Gemini. Oh, that's a tough one. I think I'm going to go for this one because it's green. Yeah, automatic. I don't, I'm not dealing with manual right now. I don't even like driving manual cars. I first learned to drive in a manual car and I hated every part of it. I was just like, yep, this sucks. Oh yeah, I can hear this metal music nonstop. Holy god. Oh my god, it's like I'm drunk. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Ugh! Ugh! Oh my god. I like lightly tap it and I'm like flying. Oh god. Oh god. Now we're going off road in like a mock Lamborghini, I guess. Oh, Jesus. Stop being drunk when you drive. Is this like I just went to Hooters and got really shitty drunk and ate a lot of wings and now I'm driving home? And I'm severely intoxicated? That's what it is. It's This is training for getting home after uh, drinking too much at Hooters. Oh, the girl was pretty and she kept asking if I wanted more to drink. Derp, derp, derp. Also, why go to Hooters? You can just go to, like, if you really want to ogle women, you can just go to freaking internet. Or go to a strip club. At least at a strip club, you're just directly paying them most of the time. Depending on what kind of strip clubs you have near you. The white blue car. Uh, I'm gonna try one of the other cars. Maybe the other cars have like less shit handling. Dude, out of my way. Goddamn boner fart. So I don't get why this is Hooters. I guess it just shows you Hooter girls in between. Oh, and I finished. You didn't sound like you're from Jacksonville. I guess that just shows you Hooter Girls. I guess for like, if you're like 12, you'd be like, yes, I have this game. Okay, I got it. I, I, I got it. I, I got first place. Oh, there's more. Exactly what I wanted. More of shoddy racing. For some reason, the handling is not quite as drunkenly crazy. Oh my god, seriously, get the fuck out of my way! I'm just gonna keep cock blocking you. Get out. Oh my god. Okay, stop. Okay, stop. I can barely stay on the road. Okay, I barely... Like, I'm trying to, like lightly tap the analog stick and it's just like nope and the worst part is the faster you go the more insano the handling gets like you can barely touch it and you get thrown to the side okay for serious stay on the By the way, that's what happens when you let go of the accelerator when you go to turn.
By the way, I have to add that I do not like driving fast. I've been in a lot of car accidents in my life, and I don't see the thrill of driving super fast and dangerous. I've had like three friends who were killed in car accidents from doing stuff like that, and another friend who almost lost his hand and broke most of his ribs. I mean, he got better, but I mean, he still gets severe pains and has nightmares from it. Because it's a pretty terrifying experience to be thrown out of a car at 120 miles an hour. And it's even worse to survive it and know that the other people in the car, only one other person other than him survived, and he's paralyzed from the waist down. So that's pretty good advice not to do that. I mean... Also, it's like, you know, if you really want to thrill like that, just, just go to a carnival. Go to a, a freaking amusement park and whip around. Hi, y'all. Welcome to Georgia. How are you doing, sugar? That was the... Yeah, you played third. That was, like, the worst. Oh, car unlocked. That was the worst Georgia accent. I lived in Georgia. People don't sound like that. People are like... Hey, I'm down the fan of George. You wanna come down? I talk to you about aliens. Uh, probably from Atlanta. Atlanta has less of a draw, but when you're down in like Savannah area and you meet someone who's like a Savannah local, they kind of sound like Creole, but kind of don't. And I'm kind of done with this game. I don't want to do another race, and I don't need Hooters girls telling me. Congratulations, and I need to, once again, oh, there's two of them running, and, and thank you. Yeah, keep that up. I don't really need to have Hooters girls saying, way to go, with my fake accent. I mean, it wasn't awful. It was just terrible controls. And I mean, the se it's one of those games where the selling point is women, boobs, and that's, eh, whatever. Uh, I mean, I get that's supposed to be a treat. You're supposed to see these supposedly gorgeous women, but by, by Hooter standards, and that's really not saying much. They're not at all my type. Gonna just have to say no. So yeah, Hooters Road Trip. If you like racing games and have the overwhelming need to see softcore women thank you for things, then there you go. You found the perfect game for you in your miserable shell of an existence. But, yeah. Hooters Road Trip. I already forgot. Alright, uh... Okay. Let's... I just don't get it. That's like uh, the guy game. I played that just to see, and it was awful. It's like a like a trivia game, like a trivia game show, that's just mixed with random girls flashing you. It was kind of sad, really. I mean, it was like, uh, no, I don't need that. Get out. I do not want to play Hooters Road Trip again. Oh, SSI. Oh, great. World War II game. I'm Ken Burns, and I masturbate to this. 
America was having tough times when the Panzer Zungenkopf came through in 1942. It was a rough time for America, but we knew that the integrity of America held fast. I'm Ken Burns, and when we come back, more World War II footage you've seen 8,000 times. Panzer General. Wow, that's annoying. Let's let's just go for this. Poland. Yeah, let's just yeah. This is like a like it was okay. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, just start it for Christ's sake. You noticed that the Americans were the French were severely outnumbered by German panzer units until America saved them. Woohoo, Poland. Oh god, I know this game. Uh, one of my old friends used to play this game. Yeah, I, I want to move you. Oh my god, too many options. This needs a mouse. So is this an enemy unit? <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> okay, yeah, you can stop the blowing up sounds. I think we blew them up. Oh, I'm playing as the Nazis. Okay. And you guys, you stay in Breslau. Oh my god, no. There we go. Oh my god, you don't need this... this much attention. Press button.
I love the flying people. The flying people wins it for me. like there'd be anything left of that. Yeah, surprise dickhead. Uh, I'm gonna call bullshit on that. And I'm gonna call bullshit on that because, uh, tanks kill the fuck out of infantry. Nope. So many menus. Okay, they just chose not to attack at all. What kind of range do you have? Do you have to be like right next to something to destroy it? No, let's not end turn. Exit. Yeah, you really wouldn't have a unit with one artillery left. Uh, that's only because uh, people would just give up on it. They'd just be like, yeah, we pretty much lost. So, I don't know if they have like a conquering time or what their deal is. Right, here's another city. Let's just yeah, go to go there. Yeah, apparently they don't know about tanks. That's like the reality of tanks. Yeah, that's that's a little bit closer to uh, what would happen. Let's go ahead and buy another recon. Uh, excuse me. Wouldn't artillery technically be a, you know, tank? Also purchase a transport? No. Screw it. Oh, well apparently we did it no matter what.
I'll finish one battle and then I'm done. I think I'm done with this game. I guess I'm supposed to like conquer them in so many turns. No. Okay, why can't you move around? <sighs> this game highly underestimates vehicles. Because the reality of an armored car moving through something... ...would devastate most armies. Guess that's our goal. Oh, it looks like they have a tank. What the fuck? Why did you jump all the way up there? My tank will probably like instantly get destroyed versus any any infantry which is apparently the role that this game lo what the fuck seriously why are you why are you jumping cursor why why do you do that also this is quite possibly the worst artillery I've ever seen. What? No. Bad controls are bad. Yeah, one of my buddies used to play this game. Except it was on PC. Also, in truth, numbers games don't really stack up to reality. I guess I want you to come up here. And I want you to come up here. You eight to one. What am I going to lose? Okay, how that's just silly. Yeah, I'm definitely going to call bullshit on this. The burning people. Yeah, all this battle sound isn't annoying at all. Not at all. I 
Thank you. I pressed the button like four times. So I guess artillery is only two spaces ahead? I have a friend who was in artillery, and that's certainly not the case. Yeah, and then I'm gonna do three damage to his tanks. Okay, the sound effect effects for battle are really annoying. Really? Attacking basic cannon artillery with tanks? Yeah. I'm going to call bullshit on that one. Okay, what's with this moving away nonsense? Are they going to blow up none of the tanks? Yeah, don't care. At first they were funny, now they're just... Kinda sad. Doesn't matter, still have more people to throw at you. Get out of my city. Scrub. Alright, this follow the roads thing is a little annoying. Four of mine, zero of them. Whatever. I don't even care. Win or lose, let's get this over with. Alright, who hasn't gone? You haven't gone? I'm gonna send you down here. Try to get around these assholes. They have a lot of assholes. Like, a lot. And let's go ahead, no, give me the menu. Let's purchase, recon, transport. Apparently, I can't have a transport, unless these can transport. Uh, whatever, let's just purchase whatever that is. Uh. Uh. Yes, you kill him. And they're gonna... Yeah, rugged defense, of course. Alright, let's... Let's just get this over with. I have a feeling it's gonna be like six more turns until... I can actually, like, beat anything. Yeah, 
you just apparently can't move anywhere. Okay, what's with this backing off thing? It's weird, and I don't like it. That doesn't make any sense. No losses. A retreating army. Yeah, that would destroy all of my tanks. So, fuck that. I'm surprised they didn't get, like, moving attack of opportunity. Or something ridiculously dumb. Nope. Oh my god. You. Attack him. I get it. You're horse troopers. Just go down there again. Because apparently it's impossible to kill these fucking infantry people with machine gun cars. You know, jeeps with machine guns and stuff were very effective killers in World War II. In World War I, a lot of those type of military scout cars were extremely effective at killing infantry. But not according to this game. And also, it's never about balance. It's about total, like, unit number and things like that. Like, how you divide your units was way more important. You could have less, but ultimately doing the damage. Would be way more important. Yeah, get the hell out. Where are they just literally just buying new troops incessantly? You know what? I've had enough. This game will just keep going on until it's like turns up and it's like sorry, you lose because you needed to keep buying some sort of tank. And also hex are fun but not when they get, like, out of control like that, like, where things don't make sense. Because, truthfully, our armored divisions would just rip through a lot of infantry things like that. Like, you're in a city, and you're in an infantry... You're infantry in a city, and a tank unit comes to town, they're just gonna destroy you. They're just gonna level buildings, and you're not going to survive. That's just how it works. <clears throat> but games like that, especially like World War II and stuff, never take into account, like, conditions. Like, the rugged defense is nice, but there's a lot of other things like, you know, people retreating and armor units, like, uh, creating defensive perimeters, uh, cutting supply lines. Like, those things were way more important um, than actually unit to unit fighting like the nazi victory in france had more to do with them dividing up their units into smaller more mobile units um to move behind and cut off supply lines to the outnumbered like the uh french outnumbered them so they just decided to go around them and cut off their supply lines so then you have a tank that doesn't have gasoline or ammunition just sitting out in a field and eventually it's going to run out and you know you have to keep that tank prepped so all you really need to do is have infantry come every once in a while long enough for them to turn on the tank distract them long enough until they burn up all their gasoline and then done 
you you have you know hundreds of tanks that just become scrap metal and are totally worthless. And then your army can come in and pick them all up and gas them up and get them ready to go because you have the supplies. Sure, it's dangerous heading behind your supply lines, but once you punch a hole through and if you're planning supplies for that as opposed to an army that's defending a border that doesn't stockpile supplies, you run into a problem because you burn through your minimum supply because you expect every two weeks we get a new supply. But when that supply stops happening, you don't have reserves to continue to fill you. Same thing with artillery units. Moving rails near artillery units was like some of the best moves that places like Switzerland did, where they literally had rail stations near where they set up artillery encampments, so that way they could continue to funnel ammunition into the artillery units. And, you know, the Alps helped, too. The Alps certainly helped uh, block off any encroachment into their territory, which was pretty smart. All right, but uh, give me one second, and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back, and uh, like, that's the one thing I do like about Advance Wars compared to a lot of other of those hex-based games is that each unit is targeted in a specific way to actually do things. Like, I like how big battleships are really super vulnerable to planes because, I mean, that's kind of how it really works. But, uh, and then you have, like, your small gunner boats that are good for, like, small other, like, gunner boats and things. And usually, nine times out of ten, it's who strikes first. That, that really does make a big, big, big difference in what happens. So, what was that? That was Panzer General. Let's see what's next 
on the list. That's like right near the end. Ooh, baby. I don't know. I don't know if this is the bad version because I know there's a bad version out there somewhere. I just don't know which one it is. See, I can't say that Panzer General was a dragon song. I can't say it's bad. It's just not good. It's one of those, like, if you're into it games. Just like Hooters. Oh, look at that. Look at all those fragments in that low-res video. Yes, Rampage. Apparently they're making a movie. Apparently The Rock's going to be in it. Which I could, could see Ra The Rock being one. Boris. He's terrible climbing. Ruby's kind of cool. Giant crab. Where's... Where's all the, the better ones? Alright, let's be Ruby. Where's Lizzie and uh, the monkey and the other and the wolf guy? Is that like just not? Ruby seems like the best. Ah, there we go. George, Ralph, and Lizzie. Let's go rescue Lizzie first. Because Lizzie's awesome. Bee stings, bombings, plague, corruption, fires, deaths, pestilence, famine. Good evening. In tonight's top story... In tonight's top story... The capstone of the Empire State Building was set today. Reconstruction of the world's major cities has now been completed. Pretty good animation for the time. In a related story, the perpetrators of the mass destruction, George, Lizzie, and Ralph, continue to draw record crowds to see them in captivity. The monsters will now be separated for safety precautions. George will remain in New York, Lizzie is being shipped to Tokyo, and Ralph will be held in London. The markets were up sharply today. with a special report, Nancy Scott. This is Nancy Scott reporting. Oh my gosh, did you see that? Once again, Skull Labs have been unable to contain their genetic experiments. Military forces have yet to mobilize, and this report has reason to fear for her life. Public beware, get inside, lock your doors, your windows, and for goodness sake... Thank you for that report, Nancy. Heaven help us. We're on a rampage! I don't want to compete with other ones. I just want to destroy stuff. Okay, control.
control's a little weird. Okay, so that's kick. Okay, so that's punch. I wonder if you have like just infinite lives. Yeah, I guess you just have infinite lives. Well, limited lives. Night. Night. None of that. As far as Rampage goes, this isn't nearly as fun. I don't know, something's missing. Looks like everything is pretty much destroyed. Who the hell is shooting at me? No, oh, god damn it. Alright, fine. I will meet the yellow car the other way. God damn it. There's still buildings back there I haven't destroyed. Yeah, whatever. Accessing memory card! Loading previously saved games! Saving game! Game saved vision. Thank you. 
Apparently the razor blade kills instantly. Oh my god, come on. I can't even move. Destroy more. Just destroy all the things. What do you get? Jerk. Oh, whatever this is, it has to go. I like the Mortal Kombat explosions. I don't know what the scissors do. Pyongyang. So what, I'm in Korea? I guess this would probably be more fun if you had, like, multiple players. Okay, yeah, we are in Korea. I didn't notice. Soul. Give me some health. There we go. Giant orange. Good start. Surprise. It would be kind of interesting if they actually had uh, authentic music like from different regions. Although, I mean, considering this is a like a midway arcade game, I highly doubt it. They just add themes. Oh, here's a juggler. Eat the juggler. Well, that might make you sick, so... You? No. Some McDonald's. Ow.
Yeah, that should happen every time you die. Eh. It was okay. I wouldn't go play a lot of it. I mean, it's, it's Rampage. Although, less fun than the arcade Rampage, which is sad. Because the arcade Rampage was awesome. I'm sure it'd be a lot of fun if you played it with, like, a whole group of people. No, Rampage 2, Universal Tour. Six to five. I don't know why this window closed. Why did this window close? Actually, before we do that, I have no idea what this is. I have never heard of this game. So things will get interesting. I have a feeling it's going to be like a snowboarding game or like a mountain climbing game. Something like that. I, I, don't, I don't know. With a name like that, it could be anything. It could be Manage Your Own GNC, for all I know. I'm not served by GNC. Oh, Atlas. Actually, Atlas didn't, I don't think, made too many great PS1 games. Other than, like, the Persona and such. Oh, yay, a racing game. Let's pick something that doesn't look like a piece of crap. Uh, too much work. Pick the scar. Auto shift. Yeah, let's go to Northern Country. Jesus. Right, I'm gonna do one race and then that's it. It's a racing game, unless it has something cool in it. God, again with the wiggity woggity loose controls. Every one of these games is like trying really hard to be live off of Ridge Racer. Like, Ridge Racer had really nice tight controls. And I just don't think you can really match that. Oh my god. Stop. Stop! I'm even letting go of the accelerator to do it. It's like you're never pointing straight on any of these racing games. You're always pointing just to the left or just to the right. Oh 
my god. Stop being drunk, car. No, get out of my face. I mean, overall, it's not a bad racer for a PS1 racer. Okay, seriously? Uh, controls would probably be better if you... Uh, use the D-pad and, like, lightly touched, but I have a feeling that that would cause a lot of problems. Cows! Okay, get off the grass. Stop. Stop being drunk. Dude, you have to be, like... Okay, that was unnecessary. Be like an expert player to get first. I hate to see very hard. Oh my god. It just rose to the middle. Alright. Okay, stop. Not much I can say. There's really, like, it's a racing game. Hopefully I don't have, like, three or four laps of this. I think I do have multiple laps of this shit to do. Also, this was really before they actually added, like, true physics engines into these. Okay, stop! Stop being wobbly. It's probably because someone is rear-ending me. I have real physics engines, so hitting a car, hitting the other car like that would cause them to spin the fuck out. Out of my way. so you can't, like, uh, suddenly hit the accelerate at the end of the turn to kind of make you wobble out. Oh, yeah, the dirt part. Well, I can see the first car. 